We're Kench1913 along with Mom and Stella. Stella. Hello, Stella. Say hi. Hi. And this is another Cooking with Kench1913. What are we going to be making today? We're going to be making Bananas Foster. We do uh, quite a few brunches, and this is one of the favorite uh, toppings. For it, and, and for anything, really. Yeah, yeah. So let's get doing it. Okay. Okay, ingredients. Bananas, of course, and we're going to be making a small batch, so I'm only going to be doing um, two bananas, but you can make this um, foster as, as large as you want with as mm -hmm. many bananas as you want. So we're going to use some butter, brown sugar, vanilla, little nutmeg, and a little cinnamon, and then I do a little drizzle of... Um, uh, maple syrup and some people add a little bit of um, whiskey or brandy into it we don't do that but you know you're more than welcome to to add that for additional flavor so let's get started okay so now you're gonna uh, of course the more bananas you're gonna use the more ingredients you're gonna need so for two bananas I use about um, Maybe a, it's about a tablespoon of uh, butter. I put it in my um, skillet and just start to let it melt a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna um, add my brown sugar. Brown sugar you have to be careful with because you um, It'll get hard on you, and there are, um, you could put a piece of bread in it. Um, there's also the, like these little discs that you can put in it. Um, I just keep it really tightly closed and inside a double bag. So I'm adding about um, three tablespoons of brown sugar. All right, so where did you learn how to make bananas fosters? You know what? I I really don't remember. I think I had seen it one time. Yeah. Somebody making it, and I said, "Gee, that that um, looks like it would be something really nice." Mm -hmm. And you can add this on ice cream. Um, you could put it on other fruit. We we just happen to use it a lot, like when we're doing our brunches. Mm-hmm. You can put it on waffles, French toast. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. so now I'm going to shut the, the uh, heat off, and um, I'm going to start adding my bananas. So what are we going to do with the bananas? We're just going to slice it on a bias or whatever? Yeah. And you don't want to make them too thin because then it, it will get mushy. Mm -hmm. So you're probably making them about, a, that's a half an inch maybe. You can make them thicker if you want. Yeah. And then I just layer them around. And uh, yeah, this is a recipe for banana foster. I'm not 100% sure on how traditional it is towards the original banana foster. I think some of them you'll see people they light them because they put the liquor in yeah, it. Yeah, but they light them. They light it on. Uh, they light on it on fire. fire. But I don't think that they add like maple syrup. Or I think usually it's just like brown sugar and cinnamon, and butter. And then they light it on fire with alcohol. Mm-hmm. Which you can do, but we're doing it our version. This is our version of bananas fosters. The foster. I should have done some research and figured out where the name originates from. But, oh well. So now my mom is just stacking everything in, in there, into the frying pan. So as you can see, and like I said, you can, you can make as many as you want. This is two bananas. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add uh, about probably a teaspoon of vanilla. Um, so I'm just... I'm just eyeballing it. Then you turn the heat back on, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put my... Get the heat bubbling. Cause now what Your you... Your cinnamon. Yeah. 
what you're gonna let this do is cook for a few minutes. All right, let let everything start to caramelize. Cool. How much cinnamon? Probably a teaspoon. Uh, yeah, half a teaspoon. And then you just put a pinch of And just of a pinch of nutmeg. Now what nutmeg you would do? Nutmeg just brings out that additional flavor. Yeah. Okay, and you don't you want it to come up to a boil, but you then you want to lower it to be at a simmer. And what I like to do. So as you can see, the brown sugar is kind of caramelizing mm -hmm. and you want to get it so that you can pour it over your bananas, the tops yeah. of your bananas. This literally, this, 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 this topping literally takes like five minutes to make. It's wonderful. You can do the same thing um, with uh, apples. Mm -hmm. uh, basically the same kind of um, setup. Um, that's really good. You could also try it with um, with peaches, I think would be really um, tasty. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the maple syrup, and I just drizzle it. And then you just let that cook for maybe a few minutes. Yeah, a few more minutes. And then, you know, you can shut it off and just leave it um, and then go back and warm it up when, mm -hmm. you're, when you're ready to uh, put it on top of something because it being warm is really the best way to, yeah. to eat it. Yeah. But yeah, this is great on, on ice cream as well. And as, mm -hmm. you, as you can see how quick uh, the time frame is to Yeah, the bananas start to, to get a little mouchade. You're all good there, but not too mouchade. Right. That's why you don't want to cut them too... Um, yeah, and you can thin. use, oh, the nice thing about this recipe, too, is you could use older bananas, too. Like yeah, ripened ones. You're, if you're running, if you're, you're like, oh, man, my bananas are going to go bad, you can just use the old ones to make this. So we'll be back when, uh, well, it's basically set now, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we'll top, we'll put it on something good and uh, eat it. All right, so here is our banana foster. I just put it on some French toast. Because that's what we're eating today. I'm gonna lather it up for you. Gonna drizzle it up with a little bit more of that juice. So let's take a bite. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, the banana is so soft, and you can really taste the uh, the cinnamon. So yeah, it's really good. And like my mom said, you can do this with apples. You can do it with mm -hmm. peaches, probably. Yeah. This is a great topping to put on top of ice cream. And it's just really, really good. And if you're, you're not dealing with alcohol, you don't have to put the alcohol in. Right. It's just as tasty without. Yeah. So this uh, has been another. This has been Pete, or Kench 1913, along with. Mom. And this has been another Cooking with Kench 1913. Enjoy and happy eating.